From the official television station of Illini Sports, this is WCIA 3 Sports and Copper Creek Contractors, your Illini Nation. How Illinois would respond after collapsing to Penn State on Wednesday was top of mind back at State Farm Center this afternoon. Iowa in town for the first matchup between these rivals this season. The Hawkeyes need one bad. They're a bubble team going into the final weeks before the NCAA tournament offensive showcase in the early going. Coleman Hawkins hits three. Three first half threes, scoring 13 in the opening 20 minutes in this one after a rough game against the Nittany Lions. A little bit later, it's Quincy Garrier. He's had a tough go of it so far, but he hits the three in the Hawkeyes. Forced to call the timeout as the Illini go up five. A lot of talk about defense going into this one, but Tony Perkins, not a lot of resistance with the easy layup. Illinois able to keep their offense going, though. One of the top in the country as it's the oop to Garrier from Marcus Damas, but quickly after that, Iowa takes the lead. Illinois playing from behind. Taron Shannon Jr. after his career high day hits the three to cut the lead to one, but right before the half. Peyton Sanford able to beat the buzzer after the long pass from the opposite baseline. Damask not very happy about that as the Illini go into the half with just a one-point lead. A 7-0 run from the Hawkeyes coming out of the break. It's a hockey line change for the Illini and Amani Hansberry, the freshman, Lights a spark with the dunk there. Now Coleman Hawkins and one. You can be the judge if that was actually a foul. Seems like a courtesy call there. He hits the free throw as well. The Hawks out in transition though. Josh Dix able to hit the three to give the Iowa Hawkeyes their biggest lead of the game. But the Illini bench so big in this one. Nicolo Moretti, the three, his first points in more than a month. He connects twice from deep to spark a 12-6 run. Now Damask, that's not a guy you want to leave wide open from the wing. He buries a three. The Illini go up three points. Now. Trying to put a bow on this one. Hawkins in transition. One-handed slam out, uh, after another turnover. And Illinois finishes out the 95-85 win. Now makes five straight seasons for the Illini with a winning, winning record in Big Ten play. And this one, their 1,000th Big Ten victory all time. Brett Behrens has more on the bounce back win for the Illini. Looking for a second half spark, Brad Underwood turned to his bench. A hockey line change set all the starters for nearly four minutes, sending a clear message. I had seen enough with that group. Their butt needed to find the bench. They needed to understand um, it's not acceptable, and, and playing time is not, is not a given thing. The backups more than held their own when they were in, before being replaced with the Illini bench playing a big factor in the game, outscoring the Hawkeyes 34-12. Nicolo Moretti, a key contributor in that, scoring nine points in 17 minutes, both career highs. I'm always trying to stay ready for every game and stay mentally focused then, dialed in. I've been working hard since my injury, and today was, um, I think, I proved all, all my work I've, I've, been, I've been putting in, and it's great. The other story of the game, Coleman Hawkins. The senior scored a career-high 30, bouncing back from a tough finish in the loss at Penn State. I had to delete some apps, um, <clears throat> just get off social media, just try to limit who I talk to, you know, not make any ex excuses for myself, and just be a man, really. Uh, just man up and, and on to the next. We had a, real, a, a get real conversation. And, and I, I'm really happy with him. I love his response. A year or two ago, I'm not sure that, that would have been the response. I, I, I couldn't be happier. I thought Coleman was, was just fantastic today. With the win, Illinois improves to 20 and 7 on the season. It marks the fifth straight 20 win season for head coach Brad Underwood and the Illini, something that hasn't been done since a stretch between 2000 and 2007. Reporting for your Illini Nation at State Farm Center, Brett Barron's WCIA 3 Sports. All right, Brett, thanks for more on the game. Go to yourillininenation.com. We have Brad Underwood's full post game press conference plus the WCIA 3 in 1 podcast coming up.